Hello everyone, welcome back. So you may have seen my last two videos on the stoves, the 508 Coleman and the 424 Coleman. Now, when I went to go pick those up, he had opened up his passenger side uh, truck door and he's like, hey, are you into uh, any of these uh, uh, propane? I think he said propane at the time. And um, I really didn't look too much. I just kind of saw a couple things on his seat and I'm like, Nah, I'm kind of into the, um, you know, the gas ones. And for some reason, I thought they were, you know, uh, propane lanterns. So um, I did my deal with him for the stoves. And he said, you know what? Do you want those? He goes, you can have them for free because you're a good customer. And I'm like, okay, thanks. So we shook hands. He gave me this stuff right here in front of you. Um, and I really didn't know what it was till I got home. And then I saw that this was a heater, Coleman Sports Cat. And this was, is a striker uh, stove and uh, pot. Basically, it's like a, a jet boil from what I was reading. And he gave me an isobutane 230 gram fuel cartridge. Now, he did say that this, he couldn't get it to screw in straight. Um, I couldn't either. And I looked in there, and I, I really didn't see any threads crossed. They look fine. Um, but I have to wait till I get an empty um, canister to mess around with it to see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it was used very much. Not that I have a lot. I mean, this year I put the heat on. I want to say this winter I put it on two days, so I, it's not like I use a heater a lot, but it'd be nice to get it working. But I was intrigued about this, um, the striker stove. So let me get this out. And as far as I can see, it's brand new. It's got all the labels here. Does not look like it's been used. Still has everything here. It says, what's this? Heat ring. Boils 0.5 liters of water in two minutes. So it looks like it's a, some kind of silicone-ish cap. From what I saw, this holds this. My in frame. Let's see. There you go. So we got that. We got that. And again, like I said, it doesn't doesn't look like it's been used at all. And then we have the stove. So this screws on me to make sure it's off. That's on, that's off. See if I can hear something. Yes. All right. Let me get some water, and we're gonna do a boil, the obligatory <laughs> boil test. I shall be back. All right. So I got 16.9 ounces of water. Let me uh, adjust this. All right. So now this slips in here and then it locks in place and the other thing I was uh, looking at is they actually make like a stove top thing for putting pots on this regular pots I have no idea what this is made of it looks like it might be titanium which would be pretty cool
and it has a uh, starter on it. Let me put the top on. This is starter. Starter's right over there. So let's kick her. Oh, wait, let me get the uh, timer going. Oh, yeah. Woo, that's roaring. Wow, that's loud. Got steam already. That's just over a minute. Okay, that's boiling already. It was like two minutes. That That's pretty impressive. Wow. There you go. The Camp Chef Mountain Series Striker. Now this, you should be able to touch it. Yeah, look at that. I could touch it. And it, it's warm, but it's not hot with this, whatever this neoprene warmer thing is or a cup cozy or pot cozy <laughs> so that was all freebies i mean the guy is absolutely awesome um but speaking of freebies if you stayed this long let me see if i can back this up a little bit if you stayed this long and you watched and you saw one of my fire it up fridays um a little while back I had shown you this. Well, I didn't show you this, but I showed you what was in this. So this is a wax canvas bag that I made, freshly made. Let me move this out of the way. And in here, is a couple pieces of Florida fatwood and that little striker ferro rod set that I made out of deer antlers. And um, these deer antlers came from Craig, our brother over at Georgia Trapping and Fishing. Thank you again, brother. And the ferro rod, of course, is a Nathan 401, 4071 <laughs> ferro rod that I reconditioned, it's like new. And when I say reconditioned is I used it once, I sanded it down where I scraped it, um, no speed bumps, and I uh, re-blued the steel. Um, and it's got a high speed striker. These were full painted, these were bleached out, but they were full painted and they have a uh, clear lacquer on them. They look pretty dang good. Um, 
So, since I got stuff for free, I decided somebody is going to get that for free. So, what you got to do is, somewhere in your comment, put the word Earl. Now, Earl is my best bud pup, okay? So, somewhere in there, I don't care if you say the Duke of Earl or Earl Rocks or just Earl. That's the key word. And when I come time to do a drawing, I'm going to search on that keyword. All right? So, we got that. And, of course, I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. Um, I'm sending you all much, much love and appreciation. You all know it warms my heart to see all the views and all the comments and all the love. Um, it's, it's what it's all about. So, thank you. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you on the next one.